Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Talk Fight. Thank you so much for joining. I'm David Nivens. If this is your first time here, let me explain what's going on. Um, basically, this used to be a debate show, but it never worked once, so we decided to change that. Now we're going to be having expert panelists come in to discuss various topics of your choosing. I have a bullpen of some of the smartest people around, and I'm very excited for them to come here today and uh, present their ideas and maybe we can all collectively learn something together. There's many ways you can interact with the show. Uh, just stay over there. There's many ways you can interact with the show. Uh, you can eject the people at any point uh, if they aren't doing well enough or if you think it's funny. Whatever, whatever reason you want to eject them, simply go to the sound alerts and do it. We also uh, have visual evidence that they've brought with them that have been submitted by you in the Discord. Here's an example of that. So... <coughs> So go ahead and get in the Discord if you haven't yet. I'm sure we're going to get the Discord pinned shortly. Uh, great. And uh, you can also change the topic at any time for $3. And if you sub, you can sponsor the program. Let's see. World's largest jeans, fuck crews. We remember those. Those were good. Those were good. Jake built it for real, for real, LLC. Those are really good. Those were all really good. Um, but tonight, something different will be happening yet again. Before, we used to see ads from those sponsors. Um, again, I don't think that ever worked once. So, we're going to be jeans changing. One was pretty good. The jeans one was pretty good. So, we're going to be changing that. Now, we're going to go to, I don't remember if we really named this thing yet, but basically, we're going to be going to a call in radio station. Um, you at home will not be calling in. Do not ever think, there will never be a point in this show. There will never be a point in this show where you can call us during the show. That will never happen. Do not ever get that idea in your head. But people will be calling into that radio station and discussing things with that host. So midway through, we'll be going to that. And if we hit our sub goal of 15, and uh, thank you very much, Mac Plays. If we hit our sub goal of 15, we'll be going to Street Takes, where, you know those TikTok videos where they have that little tiny microphone? We're going to be doing that. We're going to be going out on the street and talking to your just average Joe about a topic of your choosing. So, with all that being said, if anyone has any other questions, I'm going to go ahead and read everyone's name in the chat now. Grass Dragon, Mjorn, Sezalepsy, yeah, sure. Uh, Apple's Dragon, Naked Comedy, The Remover, Dong Diggity, Data Dreamer, Rether Akira, uh, X Illuminations, Brando 2600, Alejandroid 69, Rarely Asleep, Yarkasm, Falexander, Siloth, uh, Johan the Olive, Good Friend Jake, Laser Lady, uh, Alicia for Ferris, Freak Scene, and the rest. Welcome, everybody. Uh, so great to see you all. That's the general idea of Talk Fight. I'm David Nivens. Uh, I've never once successfully done this, and I'd like to do it tonight. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see if that works. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get our first topic tonight. I want to keep the topics extremely broad. Um, example topics could be the economy. Um, it could be parks and recreation. They they could be. Uh, Ethics. I, I want to get into this kind of level of topic. I don't want to get too too deep in the weeds. We can maybe do that later in the show, but but starting out here, I want to get very very broad topics. For instance, is David living in the studio? Is a very specific topic. I don't <laughs> want that. I do not want that. And just canonically for the lore, yes, I am still living in here. Ever since my girlfriend Cynthia left me for Rupert Murdoch, I have been living in the studio. I don't want to leave anymore. I've got enough money now where I can leave, but I feel safe here. I don't like leaving this space. <clears throat> Soup. Okay. I don't think we're understand uh, September 11, 2001. No, that is all. <laughs> I don't think we're really fully grasping what I mean by a general topic. Um, freshwater crabs. It's incredible that somehow the most specific prompts ever are happening right now. <laughs> it's incredible that <laughs> it's, we're getting the most specific topics I've ever heard on this show. Um, 
communism, what's up with that, weather, murder, racism, whaling, facial hair, good manners, that's an interesting one, good manners I think is, is kind of what I'm looking for, um, whaling, no, whaling is not good, that is a, a space, shirt tucking, oh. This is, this is already a disaster. All right, let's go ahead and- A lot of good ones. A lot of good ones? Okay, give me one, give me one. Uh, fashion was good. All right, we'll take fashion. We're gonna go with fashion. <laughs> We're gonna go with fashion. I have two experts on fashion here and more in the bullpen, ready to go. So let's go ahead and get all of our fashion experts to sort of get off stage ready to go and then we'll bring in our first two here. And we're gonna go ahead and meet our first two experts. Great, and I can tell we have two fashion experts just by looking at them. Okay, let's go ahead and meet our first. You say hello there, hi there, my name is Marriott Bonvoy. I am a professor of anthropology at the New School. I specialize in the, uh, the type of attire worn by various cultures across the globe. Great, thank you so much. I had a friend who went to the new school. He invented an app that was kind of like Club Penguin for people who go to raves. Mm. I met Bill Hooks once. Great, great. And let's go ahead and have you introduce yourself. Hi. Is that a gun? Yes. Okay. Hi. I wish my name was Dakota Johnson. <laughs> I think okay. that, I love that name, but my name's Cecilia. Oh, okay. <laughs> And I am an elementary school nurse. An elementary school nurse, <laughs> Cecilia, yes. wishes her name was Dakota Johnson. Okay. You know, it's never too early to adapt uh, or adopt rather a stage name. Yeah, you could just. You could, you could mean, call yourself anything right now. Well, that's what's good about fashion because when I'm a school nurse, I have to wear white to, to make sure that if any blood or feces gets on mm. me, I can see it and wash it off. But when I change, when I clock out, maybe when I'm changing into clothes to sort of transition into my real life, I can put on a persona like Dakota Johnson and think about who would Deco Cecilia Dakota Johnson dress like to have fun. Great. I've noticed the timer started. Yeah, yeah, okay. we are starting. And that's actually a great first point because with fashion, you know, a lot of people say our clothes should be functional. It should be all about the, the fashion should be related to, well, uh, this helps me do my work or live my day-to-day -day better. However, there's a, there's a trend where it's actually, no, we should rebel against that. To be fashionable is to wear something that might not have any functionality, but is in fact uh, stylistically appealing. And we're so already we changing the topic. Five dollars change the topic. Great. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> great. Naked Comedy, let's go ahead and get the new topic. And dear God, I hope it's general. I hope it's broad, because if it's not, we'll see what happens. Speaking of sobriquets, I got my name because at five years old, I was struck by a very fast, very large vehicle. And in exchange for not pressing charges, we made the man in question driving the, the vehicle uh, name one of his hotels after me. That, that is a really good. Yeah. That was the deal you struck? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a terrible <laughs> that's deal. That's so creative. And that's more longer lasting than a, mon a monetary payout because the way that money works is the value changes every day. Seven out of 10 airports in the United States are within 30 miles of a Marriott Bonvoy. Wow. <laughs> that is extra good. And but you didn't get any you didn't get any money from that. You just got hmm? you didn't get any money from that. You just got the name. Well, sometimes I can walk in and I'll say, "Hey, it's me," and they'll like let me have a muffin. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, breakfast. Unfortunately, I was the only person that spoke on the t uh, topic that these two are experts in. <laughs> um, but now we have to move on to a new topic. Should we get David to stop living in the studio? Oh, a topic steeped in the lore of the program. Perfect. Awesome. That's great. That's going to be great really for good. all the new viewers. You're all going to love this. You're all going to be like, cool, I can't wait to hop into this thing. Let I me explain it. Of. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> this is David to my side. Yep. And he's broken up with his girlfriend, resulting in him having to habitate within this studio. And if I could just, uh, just a quick clarification. She left me for another man. <gasps> Oh no. Oh no. It's uh, cool. I'm cool. I'm cool. Are you though? I'm cool. I'm really cool. Okay. And it was Rupert Murdoch. Just so we're oh. on that that one. The the, the, one. the weird fucked up baby from Family Guy? No. You're thinking of you're think Rupert is Stewie's 
bear. All right, we're really getting oh. distracted here. I'm sorry. Um, Stewie's from Family Guy. I yes. can explain. Okay, yes. keep going, keep going. <laughs> Stewie's the baby from Family Guy, voiced by Seth MacFarlane, creator of Family Guy. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, yeah, that was true. All right, so let's, I mean, let's talk about it. This doesn't have to be a one side or the other. Why do I have to leave? I don't think I have to leave. It's normal in here. You want my opinion on this? Yeah, I'd like your opinion as an expert. What did, what did you do at the new school? Anthropology? I was a professor of anthropology, specializing yeah. in the clothing of various cultures across the, the, across right. the globe. All right, well, in you study various cultures. A lot of people live, you know, yeah, a lot at of people their workplace. All kinds of places. You know, some people uh, in Europe, for example, live in uh, sort of walkable cities. You know, here in the United States, we're, oh, oh, What's going oh, on? What's happening? Are, are you, you okay? all right? Oh, no. Are you all right? Are you all right? What's going on? Are you okay? <laughs> this is really upsetting to look at. I just remembered that my eighth grade bully could be watching right now. Oh no. Do you have intrusive thought OCD? Huh? Do you have intrusive thought OCD? No, but it could, Maverick could be here any second. <laughs> Maverick? His name was Maverick. His, name, his first name was Maverick? Yeah, yeah. His parents voted for McCain. Ah, uh, okay. I actually know a hockey player with that first name. Anyway, it's okay. He's not watching. Or even if he is, who cares? You're here now. You're, you're safe. right. You're right. Yeah. It's okay. You're yeah, safe. You're right. You're right. Absolutely. They named their kid Maverick after McCain, even though he was your sixth grade bully. He was my eighth. How long ago would have that been? He was a Maverick back when he was a senator. He yeah, was a Maverick when a he got back from World War II. I I'm sorry to. I don't want to get into that conversation. I have one thing to say about it. Okay. <laughs> Maverick is such a good name. It reminds me of my favorite name, Dakota Johnson, or I also like the name Apple. So maybe think about that. Okay. That, that's, a real, that's a really good point, I guess. We're already changing the topic again, which is crazy. So let's go ahead and get this new topic from fashion. Is David's shirt too wrinkly? <laughs> okay. Thank you, Sadville, for at least generally keep for at least generally keeping it in where in where we need to be. So let's let's talk about this. Let's let's start with with you. And that looks like a choice to me. That looks like a choice that David made because everybody has a shirt, but is their shirt wrinkly? This is how David can express his fashion. Sure. That could be a, it, that could absolutely be a And thing. the wrinkle tells a story. Have you ever heard this phrase before? This tells us, my hat tells a story. My wrinkled shirt tells a story. It tells a story of a guy who crumpled his shirt just so. What do you think the story of my shirt being wrinkled like this is? It's a story of a guy who crumpled his shirt just so and either was inspired by the wrinkle, like thought it looked cool, or maybe this guy is so busy he didn't have time to take the wrinkle out. Busy. Why is he so busy? What's he, what's he doing? It makes the mind Run, run with questions. I think busy is a really good way to put that. See, I would counter by saying that you, I would assume, given that you work for a major network, you'd have sort of assistants that could iron your clothing for you. You would assume that, I, yeah. And so the fact that you don't, I think, speaks to maybe a, a certain kind of professional failure on your part. Maverick used to take a knife and make a series of vertical dashes near my uh, near my collarbone, and he'd say, make sure that your parents see that, and you'll find out for the first time in your life that they really don't care if anything happens to you at school. <laughs> what? When did he do this to you? <laughs> In middle school, this happened. Eighth grade, yes. That's that's a little bit more than eighth grade. Well, I wonder where your school nurse was. Not all school nurses are good. Woo! Woo! And yeah. you know, you, it, damn time. It's hard to be a school nurse. Preach. That's uh -huh. right. And and some of these school nurses just take this job because you know what some women say. Mm -hmm. Some women say, oh, I can only be a nurse. Yeah, that's not true. And if you are going to be a nurse, be a good one. That's right. I think that's And really some men, you know what some men say? Hmm. Nurse is a girly word. I can't be a nurse. You know what? Just leave nurse. <laughs> just leave the nurse to their work. And if you don't want to do the work, there's other jobs. Okay, kind of contradicts your previous point, but it's okay. It's the same situation with like, being a stewardess, you know? That was, for a long time, that was a profession that was understood right. to be principally for women. We can understand now that that's a kind of a hidebound, 
you know, sort of a vantious understanding of what, what the occupation, what a given occupation of a person should look like. A man can be a stewardess just as easily as a woman can be. Maverick used to do this thing where he would take a peanut butter and jelly sandwich that was given to me at lunchtime. He'd open it up, it sort of by, by the two halves of the sandwich, uh -huh. smash it between my, you know, my head, my with my ears like this, like yeah, he box yeah. my ears with the sides of the sandwich, and he'd say, "Ooh, look at this, peanut butter jelly boy, peanut butter jelly boy," and then he would uh, take a lighter okay. and run it under my chin until I screamed. Okay. See, the first half of that, I'm like, that's an eighth grade bully. I'm, I'm there. <laughs> I, I, that totally tracked for me. Then we got to what is unquestionably a very scary, abusive relationship. Oh, and we are and going to be it. ejecting. Oh, well. <sighs> oh, dear. Damn, we did not let him heal even slightly from that trauma. And let's go ahead and meet this next <sighs> debater. Uh, What's your name? Hello, I'm General Jerry, the three hat, the triple hat mind reader and school nurse. Sorry, oh. gen genital Jerry? Genital Jerry, the triple hat mind reader and also school nurse. Nice to meet, nice to meet you. It's wonderful to meet you. We have two school nurses here on the show, and yeah. they're discussing that my shirt is too wrinkly. Yes. And so, Genital, do you want to get into this? Well, not only do I want to get into this, many people in the bullpen want to dive right into this topic. I know for a fact that people are shouting internally. They're burning up inside. This shirt is too wrinkly. I'm here to say it. It's too wrinkly. I don't care if it's a choice, an accident, a proclamation. This shirt is too wrinkly. And there's many people in the bullpen complaining burning up inside an internal inferno. I'm feeling thousands of men's pain and many women's sorrow about this shirt. It's not right what you've done to the shirt, and I'm here to make a stand. Wow. I didn't do anything to the shirt. If anything, it was a lack of something I did to the shirt. I, that, just, I took it out. A lack of action is the loudest action of all. What school do you nurse at? I, school, I am at the Coloro, Coloro Elementary School in Littleton, Colorado. Wow, oh, thank you for making the trip. What about you? Where do you? Butt Creek Middle School. <laughs> Butt Creek Middle School, Genital Jerry? B-U-T-T-E. It's not a b anal thing. Wait. And that's time. And that's time. <laughs> what Wait, does that mean? I said the wrong school. I said oh, the wrong okay. school. What's up? What school is it? I have to go. What school is it? My, the school I work at is Big Titty School with a fat <laughs> ass to match after school program. <laughs> <laughs> so it's only an after school program. Okay, so no, now we're going to be voting on which of you won. And then we will you will be done after that. Triple hat man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I admire I admire This had legs. It no, it did. It really did. But honestly, maybe better to leave them wanting more. Let's get the poll up and we're going to figure out uh, which of our debaters, are not debaters, it's force of habit, which of our uh, experts won one? Which even though it's not a debate, we are voting, we are voting on which of them won. Why? I don't know. People like polls, Probably right? you control. Yeah, yeah, you like the polls, right? I don't, I don't believe I took any kind of stance. I have to say. No, you said it might be. No, what you said was it might be nice if it's a choice. It might be nice if the shirt is wrinkly. You're giving him a break. And well, nobody wants to see David have a break. No, That's you know true. what? Maybe the wrinkle could be an anti authority thing. Like, you expect my shirt to be flat? Guess what? Earth isn't look flat. Ugly in Life it. isn't flat. Nah, General Jerry wins. I, I appreciated that a lot, Cecilia. And in honor of me winning, they're going to let me stick around for the next topic. <laughs> That's. No. Uh, <laughs> four guests. Got to keep them moving. Got it. So, thanks for coming. Do we get exploded or? No, you uh, just you just walk away. Unceremonious. What a yeah. bust. Yeah. <laughs> walk out of the crop. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Cecilia. All right, let's get two more. Uh, actually, wait, before we do that, because we have to get our next topic so that I can pull from that specific bullpen of experts. Mm, so let's right. go ahead and get our next topic. Right. Let's keep it vague. <laughs> we all know this. We all get how this works. Let's keep it vague. Okay. And uh, we're going to get uh, our next topic for the, the panelists. Golden showers. I don't understand why we're not understanding. OK, music, really great. Really great example of an extremely general topic. 
Um, ooh, but I really do like social media and its impact. This is this is ripe. This is something Bill Maher would be talking about. So we're gonna get two experts out here to talk about social media and its impact. So let's zoom in on me. Let's go ahead and zoom in on me. No subs. Now let's get shh. Let's get our two panelists out here, and I'll remind you all: we are a mere 15 subs away from hitting our sub goal of going to street takes. It's it's, it's very fun. You Shut up. I love street Shut takes. Up. It's very fun, so let's get those subs in because last time it went so well. We were all like, didn't know if that was going to work, and it really worked. So let's let's go ahead and get those uh, subs in, and then let's meet our two expert panelists. Let's start to my left here. Well, my name's Towns Yellerman, and I'm here to get the monsters out of town. All right. But I, for my day job, I'm also a school nurse. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We have Towns Yellerman, who's getting the monsters out of town, but uh, also is a school nurse by day. And thank you so much, I fight for them, and Theo for Meaden for the subs. Uh, and to my right here, who do we have? I'm Bunt Shumpley. I'm an airman like my father before me and his father before him. Also, I'm a school nurse. Okay, great. <laughs> Bunt Shumpley, airman slash school nurse. Uh, you two men will be talking about social media. Excellent. <laughs> Incredible. So... Let's talk about it. A lot of people say social media is dangerous. It's unregulated. Mm -hmm. It's affecting uh, malleable teenage brains. So mm -hmm. what do you think about that? Sure as hell it is, and that's the way it's meant to be. Okay, you think that's good, Town? Yes, it's, it's the only way we can get justice in this city. And speak on that a little bit, if you could. Well, we've got monsters here in town, and we bully them on social media, and we say, you're not welcome here. Get out. Get out of my town. Uh, so you're saying the sort of... The town square, as it's moved into the digital space, rather than showing up at the monster's house with a bunch of pitchforks and stuff, we yes. should ratio them and call them names on the internet. Yes, ratio them. Get them away from our Topo Chico well. Great. And now I have some at the Topo Chico well. Yes. So mm -hmm. the monsters are affecting the Topo Chico well. Is that what I'm getting? Yeah, they're ruining our town's Topo Chico well. Well, you know, hey, God forbid that happens. I'm right there with you, brother. We have some evidence here to support your claim, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. Um, and, okay, and while we wait on the evidence, we also have to change the discussion topic, which is still talking about if my shirt is too wrinkly, which we've moved on from. We will no longer be talking about. Thank you very much for the sub. Incredible that sometimes I just go, reminder, you sub, and then we get nine subs. Really incredible how that works. Um, so while we get the thing and the other thing, uh, do you have anything you want to say? My name is Bunt Shumpley. I'm an airman like my father and his father before him, and I've been ejected from every plane I've ever flown. Wow. Okay. I want to hear a lot more about that. I really do. But first, I, I do want to get the, the evidence coming in. Did we forget to pull the images? Where's yeah. the evidence? Is that what happened? We, yeah. forgot, we forgot to pull the images. Cool. We're cool. pulling them. We're pulling them. Just vamp. Give yeah. us the evidence! Ask for money again. Oh, yeah. Hey. <laughs> what if you just... Oh! That sucks. Oh, am I gonna? It's left. I left is that? That's me. I don't oh, think so. Wow. I think I'm, left is. Camera left. Oh, 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 oh bunt. Checks out. I know. <laughs> that always happens to him. Thank you. Like. <laughs> I guess he wanted that. I guess he wanted that the whole time. All right, so we're gonna get in another uh, expert to replace uh, Bunt, who I guess just can't help but get ejected in any situation he's in. Um, let's go ahead and meet you. What's your name? Hi, my name is Stella, and I'm a vintage reset, vintage clothing reseller expert. You're a vintage clothing reselling expert, Stella. Yeah. Okay, great. Thank you so much for coming on. We're going to be talking about social media. And Clothes are only good if they are old. You would have been so good for the last topic. You would have really done... Anyway. I agree. I, I also like old clothes. Yeah. Me too, yeah, me too. Yeah. Older, the smellier, the better. Because yes. everything that happened before was good, and everything happening now is a mistake. Right? Yes. And oh, wait, the evidence. Yeah, yeah, that was your evidence. Yeah. My evidence, yes. So you want to talk... Uh, what, what? Am I looking at the monsters right now? Yes, you're looking at some of the monsters that are ruining our town's Topo Chico well. They come in dressed all nice, all green-faced, and they come in with their big city money, and they, they want to buy up the Topo Chico well and rebrand it to something stupid like Liquid Death. Oh, That's yeah. all they want to do. Can Topo we, Chico. Can we put them back up on screen? Yeah. 
Give me an example of how you would use social media to get them out of town. Maybe some cyberbullying you would do against these guys. I would say switch up. You don't have to dress the same color. Get get some get some relatable outfits. You green faces. <laughs> So you would like reply to an Instagram post of theirs saying, why are you all dressed with the same color as your mask? Get some relatable outfits. Yeah, get some relatable outfits. Not everyone can afford a three piece, four piece, five piece suits. Yeah. And get out of our town. They really look like the guys and dolls. That, we, that will hurt their feelings, I'm sure. Yes, we found the Topo Chico well first. It's ours. Get away from it, you monsters. I think we can all, I mean, I think the entire town can get behind that. Well, I, I think they look absolutely snatched in their outfits. <laughs> and I think that it seems like maybe they're wearing some vintage Christian Dior or vintage Levi's. And I would probably resell those suits for maybe like $7,000 on my, on my Depop. Oh, interesting. So Depop, I guess you could classify. Oh, thank you so much, Anonymous, for the gifted subs. We're now just one away. So I have a feeling we're going to get that one in the next eight minutes, and then we're going to go to street takes. Hmm? What's up? No, you were, you were talking to me even though you were off camera. What's up? So basically zero. Basically zero. I've seen streams get thousands of subs. Yeah, yeah. Here's the most important. Here's the most important thing about social media. Please. I have old clothes. And I need to show everybody now my old clothes. And I go, here's my old t-shirt sold to the highest bidder. And you'll, you'll see a stinky old t-shirt that smells like BO and maybe has holes in it, right? Mm -hmm. Well, everybody online sees that and they think, everything that happened before I was born is better. True. Everyone made perfect decisions back in the day True. and looked amazing. And instead of inventing something new, I'd like to recapture some de something dead. I think we should copy what already happened because that's how it should have been. Time shouldn't move, change shouldn't happen. And I want to look exactly like I stepped out of 1975 because I simply think that this is a mistake to 2024. And then you know what? Next thing you know, they Venmo me $94. Reach. Really Breach. good point. Make America snatched again. Really good point. Really Woo. good point. I mean, I think that's a lot of people talk about the negatives of social media. We don't get into the positives enough, which is it allows you to get a platform where you can not only be a business person, but you can reinforce this narrative that things used to be good and somehow now they're bad. And if only things were like they were before, everything would be good and that progress is actually a detriment to society. Yeah. And it's kind of like that fable, the emperor has no clothes. Mm hmm. If someone is very wealthy, they can buy brand new clothes. But what's better than that? Sort of stealing cheap clothes from poor people. So what I do... Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, I agree. So what I do is I go to a thrift store, a place that people go who don't have very much money, where they're trying to just get some clothes for once. I go there and I take those old, ugly clothes, and I show them to rich people on the internet, and I say, this will give you cred. This will make you snatched. And then they trip over themselves, handing me fistfuls of cash. And what happens to the poor people? There's no clothes for them. They can't have the thrift store clothes because the thrift store is closed because I bought everything and they can't afford new clothes either. Yeah. Yes. And, and then they like they'll see like their dead grandfather's shirt on just like some annoying guy at a juice bar one day. And you can't put a price on yeah, that. Yeah, and then the, anno I agree. the annoying guy at the juice bar is like, oh, Personality, I got this t-shirt, ain't that enough? First they're coming for your clothes and next they come for your town's Topo Chico well. Can I ask? Yeah, they, they, wanna, they wanna take all the Topo Chico away. Can I ask? Yes. How pressing is this crisis that they're coming for the Topo Chico? I was not made aware that like, they're about to get to it. It feels yes. like you're very concerned about that. Yes, yes, they're monsters. They're trying to take our, sound, our town's only source of income. And I, as the town's yellerman, must guard it. I must keep them away. It's it's our town's only source of real income. Okay, th absolutely. Well, speaking of, you know, social media, there's a good call to action mechanism on social media, which is you can go onto the internet and you can say, hey, all the monsters in the well-dressed three-piece guys and doll suits are yes. coming for our Topo Chico Yes. Well. We need to mobilize. Yes. And you can get everyone sort of like an Arab Spring, but instead of overthrowing a government, yes. they're beating the shit out of these four well-dressed monsters. Yes, and that's exactly what I used for inspiration was the Arab Spring. Perfect. <laughs> I studied the Arab Spring 
time and time and time again for years because I knew a situation like the Arab Spring would happen in my tiny town but with Topo Chico with our Topo Chico well instead of general rights human rights did they ever doubt you when you were doing all that study oh yes the towns people <laughs> did not want me delving into it I and, and some some of the Arab governments from the spring the Arab Spring, and you know, it, was, it had a literal representation because kind of the Topo Chico right, is a spring, right. mm -hmm. Arab Spring, and so it, they, there was a lot of a lot of similarities in everyone. But everyone thought I was crazy until the first well-dressed reptile shows up in a suit and is interested in the Topo Chico well. All right. And I'm rallying rallying the townspeople to come around and saying, let's do what they did in Egypt. That explains that. That also explains the Muslim Brotherhood leaflet you left for me when you walked up here. I'm yes. learning a lot. That's very instructive. Um, Stella, do you see, we've talked a lot about the positives of social media here, which I think is good because I think on the internet we don't do that often. We're usually talking yeah, about the yeah. Do you have any positives about, I mean, I'm sorry, but to be fair, do you have any negatives about social media you want to bring forward, Stella? The only negative thing about social media is that I can't look at it all the time. Why, why not? You could I, if you wanted to. Because if you look at it, because if you look at it, they go, ma'am, ma'am, finish ordering your coffee from me for two seconds before you get sucked back into your phone, you vapid brat. Yes, and you could be doing something important. They don't know that. Okay, maybe I was actually donating to your coffee's GoFundMe because I know you're going out of business. <laughs> the coffee has a GoFundMe, the coffee shop? Yeah, you can tip them extra. They start, Everyone has a GoFundMe, yeah, everyone yeah, has yeah, a... Yeah. What? Did, did someone at Cafe Tropical yell at you? Did someone yell at you recently? <laughs> every time I go, every time I go to the coffee shop, I'm looking at my phone because I'm uh, because I like it. Uh huh. And they go, and I I order the, I order the coffee like this. I'll take a cappuccino, please. Oh, that's not good enough. I have to look them in the eye. Mm. What do they want from me? <laughs> and so that's a negative of social media is because yeah. you're not able to look. Society expects you not to be 100% committed to social media. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I would argue then you're you're putting that on society. I mean, it sounds like you want to basically live in like those little chairs from Wally, where you're just totally at a screen 24 hours a day. No, I just it's okay for me to order a cappuccino like this. I'll take one cappuccino, please, with latte art. Oh, don't get me started on if you ask them for latte art. You ask them for latte art while yes. you're ordering? You go, and can you please do latte art? Okay, they want me to pay $7 plus tip for this coffee. I'd like a little frog on top or something. Okay. And I'm you the request, crazy one. You request specific animals? We have some evidence here to support your claim, by the way. So let's let's take a look at this. Yes! Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> so my favorite barista, Tristan, who got fired, apparently for stealing, but... <laughs> okay. he, he made me this uh, coffee with this on top. And this he, is latte art that I'm yes! looking at right now. Wow, that is incredible. Yeah, if you use Angostura bitters <laughs> and you put them on top and butterfly pea powder, it turns colors. And he did it in about, you know, 17 minutes. 17 minutes, okay. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's fine for you. You use your phone, so it wasn't a big problem. Okay, wow, that is incredible. I mean, that. That doesn't necessarily address the social media thing, but I am like more pro latte art now. Yeah, and Tristan could work for his dad's company, but he doesn't. Oh wow, that's actually really noble of him. Yes, it is. He sounds like yes. a cool guy. I think it's okay if he steals. Um, wow, we've we've lasted. We're almost. We're in the final minute. I'm it's, surprised. We had a really, pretty yeah. good. If if you ask me, I think we've had a pretty good discussion about this. I think this. we really did. I think yeah. we really got into it. We really all got to express our unique points of view while still generally talking about the topic. I don't want to ruin it now by being too overt about the actual thing we're doing here. But I think this went pretty damn well. So if let's you get guys want, if you guys are interested in vintage clothing, you can follow me on Instagram. It's at Stella underscore beautiful underscore vintage underscore and rare underscore t-shirts. So, yes. And rare, there's no underscore between and and rare? No. Okay. No. And if you would ever like to take a tour of the local town t t Topo Chico well, you can follow our Instagram, which is uh, Tiny Towns Topo Chico. Tiny Towns, Topo Tiny Towns, Chico. Topo Chico, and then I run the account Towns Yellerman. And you are a school nurse. Yes, and my school nurse at, at Grand you. Expressor High. Thank <laughs> you for your service. service. Yes, yes, yes. That's yes. time. Incredible. Uh, we're going to get a poll up now to see uh, which of you wins. 
and, uh, and then we're we'll, then we're going right to street takes. Is, is there is there an option for uh, the viewers? Because uh, this was a good discussion. I think they won. I think I do think you all won. I think we don't even need to put that up to a poll because I think you all won this very good discussion. Why? What did you do? <laughs> oh, well, they, they actually did it. Put it back up. But, well, yeah, 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 yeah. It's They're in the middle of voting. <laughs> all right. I'll put it back up exactly how it was before. Who won the debate? It's a debate. No, it's not. It's not a debate. <laughs> they weren't on differing points of view, and it worked totally fine. We had a, just a nice general discussion. Wait, what school do you work for? Land Expressor High. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Where we teach kids, uh, young young people, how to express their glands in every single way. That is uh, so good. Oh, that. Oh, really lost me at the end there, Towns Gellerman. All right. Uh, wow, this is really wow. This is extra. And somehow, after Towns Gellerman said that, he started getting more votes in. That's incredible. <laughs> yeah, because incredible. everyone knows their glands need to be expressed, especially as a young person. Okay, and. Let's close this out. And they like me. Oh! Stella. Wow. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> well, that was exciting. Stella, congratulations. Fantastic Thank work. you. It's really important for rich people to look as if they don't have any money. Exactly. But if you, but if you, if you don't have any money, just please go away. Yes. Thanks so much. And Towns, good luck uh, guarding the Topo Chico well. Thank you. I hope you really give it to those Thank guys. Thank you, Lon. We have, we have five flavors. Yep. That's great. That was a huge success. I don't care what Grant thinks. That went great. <laughs> what did I do? Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to Street Takes now. We fucking nailed it. So we're going to go to Street Takes. Um, can I get... Last time we did this thing where it was like $50 now or we double it and bring it to the next person. I think that went great. But when you watch those weird TikTok of guy with little microphone, what's a good topic that they will be discussing? Let's get one and then we'll go out into the world and we'll talk to those people about uh, some takes they might have. Name a woman. Oh, that's, that's Billy Eichner, right? He does that. Uh, bros or hoes, what is your salary? What is your salary? That is very That's good. Really good. We're going to take, wow. what is your salary? We're going to go, thank you, Sadville PM. We're going to go, and you just wait. You just wait. You just, you just wait. We're going to get to you later. We're going to get to you later. <laughs> Hey, excuse me, sir. I'm conducting a little like on the street survey. Can I ask what is your salary? <laughs> um, okay. So, 
that just happened. <laughs> what just happened? Uh, you you just asked me uh, a, a kind of an inappropriate question. Uh, you don't have to answer if you're uncomfortable. Sorry, I was just... No, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll answer you, and I'll say that uh, I'm a software developer, so it's a lot. Okay. Yeah. Do, do you see... Do you see my shirt? And there goes my last flying fuck. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Okay. Do you like? Do you really like the movie Deadpool? Uh, yeah. Hey, sir. Excuse me. What's your salary? What's up? What's your salary? Oh, salary. Yeah. I remember when I had a salary. Mm, then I unplugged from the system. I don't do that anymore. So what do you? How, how do you live? I'm basically on my grind all the time. I have all my money in gold coins now. I'm fully unbanked. Oh. We're all doing this right now. Because you know who's trying to come for your money, right? Uh, who? Yeah. <laughs> hey, ma'am, what's your salary? Oh, hi, my salary? Yeah. That's kind of hard to answer because I'm a volunteer. Oh, what are you volunteer doing? I'm a candy striper at the hospital. And what I do is I help the doctors and the nurses and the patients bust to calm them down. You you do you help them do what? I help them bust. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. What's your salary? All right, and three, two, one, and go. No, I'm sorry. We're filming you. What are you filming? Hmm. What's your salary? And we are live here on the street with man on the street. No, no, sorry. I'm doing a man on the street. Oh. What's your? Do you have a question for me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so uh, what's um, what's the last big uh, big nut you saw? <laughs> Excuse me, sir. What's your salary? Hey, excuse me, sir. What's your salary? Fifteen rare bugs. What? Fifteen rare bugs. You're paid that per year? I keep whatever I collect out in the wilderness. Okay. I like the rarest bugs. Hi, what's your salary? My salary? That's actually hard to answer. I'm a dairy farmer. Do you know what that is? You... I make the cows bust. Hey, sir, what's your salary? Okay, just smile for daddy. Are you filming me? Smile. That's, man, that's perfect. I don't see a child behind me right now. What and, are you doing? And step, and step. Are you filming me turn, as if step. I'm your I'm sorry, sir, I'm trying to do a, a video here. Oh, that's beautiful. That's the only, that's the only payment I need. My child's beautiful face on camera. All right, you're really making me nervous, sir. Now go ahead and nut. Aziz hey. Ansari did nothing wrong. <laughs> Aziz Ansari. Right, get Aziz out of here. Ansari. Get out of here. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Excuse me, sir. Sorry to stop you on your run. What's yes? Your, what's your salary? Oh, I make $15 million because I love fracking. Oh. <laughs> Hey, excuse me, sir. What's your salary? <laughs> really more of a carrot man myself. What? Really more of a carrot man. You said like salary sound like celery if you... No, sorry. I'm asking about how much money you make per year. One million dollars. What do you do? Bankable. What do you do? I, uh... Sp Excuse me, ma'am. What's your salary? Oh. oh fuck. What's my salary? Yeah. I really don't want to talk about it. W uh, okay. You don't have to if you don't want to. Thanks. Excuse me, sir. What's your salary? Salary? Mm, um, uh, kale? What? No, sorry. I mean, how much money do you make per year? Sadly, it's a brand new... Uh, excuse me, sir. What's 19, your salary? 19000 You make $19,000 a year? Yep. What do you do for Fucking work? Fucking yo, bitch. Hey, excuse me, sir. What's your salary? Ah! Uh, don't you mean man? Oh, sorry. 
what's what do you do for work, man? Oh, I fuck this guy. Hi, excuse me, sir. What's your salary? Well, Pedro Pascal makes like about three million, but I'm the guy in the mask. Oh, you're just you're just the mask. You're the extra. Yeah, I'm the man. I'm the guy who wears the. Monopoly McDonald's, Monopoly McDonald's, what? Monopoly Sorry. McDonald's. What? I no. did the Monopoly, the McDonald's Monopoly game, and I made all the money in Monopoly Donald, McDonald's game. Do you, are you the one who's giving away the money? If I double it, I can no, keep it? No, that was last week. Okay. Oh, my fly is fucking down. Hey everybody, and we're back. Thank you so much. I think street takes went great. Um, my shirt's not wrinkly anymore. So, just something to think about. Um, we're gonna go ahead and jump right back into it. We're gonna get another topic, and then we're gonna get our field of exp- Hey, booty anime, good to see you. Um, we're gonna jump right back into it. We're gonna get another very general topic, and uh, then we're gonna start hearing from some experts. We reset the goal. And we reset the goal. I got sponsors. Ooh, laser lady, that's a really good point that makes me sad. Um, let's go ahead and see the sponsors. Enron, we're back, baby. I don't want to read the second one. Uh, Confucius Institute of Now York City, Book Bookwin? Is that racist? I hope not. <laughs> Frankly, all of those made me uncomfortable. So let's go ahead and jump right back into it. Let's get a very general topic here. Um, again, the economy, fashion, things like that. Um, recycling, that's a pretty good one. Um, street food, Kanye West, why are we aging, loneliness. Ooh, Fool Aloof. Fool Aloof, so good at this, always. Um, but I always take yours, Fool Aloof, I'm sorry. Wire Mother, we're gonna go with religion. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna warm up my bullpen of religious experts. And, um, we're gonna meet our first two here. So let's do it. Great. And these are two experts on religion, if I've ever seen them. Let's, as customary, let's start on my left here. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Good night. My name's Jet Mutton, Australian Rules hockey player and school nurse. Jet Mutton, Australian Rules hockey player. Jet Mutton. And school nurse. Yep. And let's go ahead and meet to our right. Hello. My name's Tanya Softing. I'm a closeted gay man and a school nurse. <laughs> okay. No way this can go wrong. Okay. 
We will be discussing religion. I think I know what your angle is going to be, but I don't know what your angle is going to be. So let's start with you, Jet. Talk about religion a little bit. Religion? I don't like it. Been kicked out of every church I've ever, I've ever tried to be in. And been ejected Wait, from why? every hockey game I've ever played in. Why do you get kicked out of every church you try to be in? Same reason I get ejected from every hockey game I've ever played. I'm brawling. Okay, so you you're go to church and you get in fistfights. That's right. And is that the fault of the religion for not allowing that? That feels totally unrelated to religion. It just feels like you're not allowed to fight strangers. Completely my fault. Okay. Absolutely on me, Jet. Okay, thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's in me blood, in me DNA, way I was raised. Yeah. And uh, there's just no way I'm going to stop. But maybe one day I'll find a religion that'll bear it. Okay, so you're, you aren't giving up. You want a religion. You just want a religion that will let you just get your blind rage out. Of I'd love a religion that lets me just get me blind rage out. Maybe a religion takes place in a rage room. Oh, uh, and we are ejecting Jet Mutton. Well, I haven't even raged out yet. I know, that's I such a bummer. Out. That's such a bummer. No! No! Uh, that's <laughs> Jet can't catch a break here, really. Oh, and you're good. You're good. That went great. And let's go ahead and have you introduce yourself as well. Uh, Ping Dingman. <laughs> Ping Dingman? Yeah, right? Ping Dingman. That's what I call myself. What do you do? <laughs> well, oh, me? my God. Ping. Hi. Yeah, hello. Good to see Did you, you again. Did you know each other? Oh, yes. From yes. what? Whatever he's going to say. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I see him at uh, all the yeah. uh, tiki, tiki bars tiki I like bars. to go yes. to. Yes. Okay. Because my job these days is taking it easy. Okay. You yeah. know? Hell yeah, brother. Yeah. Ping, Ping's been saying that for 10, 15 months. Yes. Yes. That's Ping Dingman. Yeah. Great. Okay. So we have a guy who professionally takes it easy. In oh, the yeah. Closeted school. Uh, yeah. I don't like to take things too <laughs> seriously. Okay. So, uh, let's let's get your perspective on religion. Religion? Yes. Oh, you can't think too much about it. I thought I, you know, I had a near death experience. Oh, interesting. Tell me about it. Yeah. Well, I had uh, a bad case of stomach rot. Ooh, okay? Sounds really gross. Yeah, it was it was my stomach was rotting from the inside out. That's why I'm in this hospital gown. I nearly died, okay? I I was a I was a hedge fund trader. My stomach was rotting from the inside out and I nearly died. Moral rot, you could say. You, yeah, you could say that, and that's what I like to joke about. Okay. It was moral rot. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So, Ping, now you're sort of taking it easy. So, now I take it easy because when I was on the operating table, I died. I literally died. Wow. And I went to a valley, and the valley caught on fire. Oh. And I watched every... That sounds like hell. Now we're going to get some evidence to support your claim. Yes, I would love to show some evidence. So uh, is that? did you <laughs> see this man while you died? <laughs> That's me saying uh, a big F you to all of you because I'm, I'm pulling your leg, huh? I'm <laughs> okay. pulling your leg. Okay. Well, I, I was just joking. I didn't have stomach rot. I had testicular cancer. Oh. Uh, oh I still God. had to go into surgery. Um, and uh, I still had that near-death experience, though. Wow. And that really woke me up to the fact that life is precious, and we got to have some fun, you know? And you you want to take... Ping and I see each other all over California. Yeah. And where is that? At the Tiki Bars. Okay. We're all on up and down the Central Valley. In the tiki, Valley. tiki, 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 Tiki room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Great. <laughs> really good. I yeah. love women. He does. You ought to see. You ought to see this hound. When you two are at tiki bars together, he's he's, he's yeah. getting with women a lot. He's he's always holding court. The ladies love him. Ooga chaka, ooga chaka, ooga chaka. Is that a dance move? Yeah, yeah. Girls love it when I dance. Okay. Would you say, Ping, that yeah. you found God when you had that medical incident? Uh, yeah. If God is a good punchline, I found God. That's what I got. I got this hat. It says, lick my balls. Right. Yeah, like Dragon Ball Z. Okay. So, yeah, I found God to me is a laugh. Sorry, Anywhere I can get it. What's the punchline of that hat the, with, the your, punch line with is, your testicular cancer? Yeah, the, the punchline is that I only got one. Okay. So it's lig my ball, but then I tell people that and I, I show them that and they, they start laughing. Great. Thank yeah. you very much, Ping. Now, I yeah. want I want to go over to Tanya Softing here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> uh, religion must be difficult for you in some respects. Absolutely. 
Do you very want to busy, hard to get to mass. Ah, okay. <laughs> when, I do, when I do get to mass, when I do get to mass, I, I respect the, the F out of the people who put the, those productions together. Because I don't mm -hmm. know, I can hardly keep my, I have a very complicated calendar, mm -hmm. and I can v barely keep that on the, on the rails. And then you go into a building like that, it's like, who is keeping track of when this stuff is supposed to start and who's supposed to show up? Mm -hmm. I don't even know. I don't even know how to send one email most of my days. Yeah, <laughs> I'm right there with you. <laughs> it just it just moves so fast, you know. Yeah, it moves so fast these days. And I forget every single one of my passwords. And 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 beyond that, whenever a girl I'm dating is texting me this I'm is happening often it's happening every day brand new girls every day and i'm texting them hello i don't hello you know and they what else are you texting them what else do you text them? i said don't i say don't fucking ghost me you know oh okay mm -hmm. they're all ghosting me left and right so i'm left to get back on the apps and try dating more women and it's just my calendar because of the other things i have on there becomes so complicated don't you have this kind of experience as well my friend uh, yeah, I guess to some degree, but I guess I'm Makes wondering... It's hard to believe in God. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Is it? Let's talk about the difficulty in believing in God a little what the bit. topic was. It's, let's talk about the difficulty in believing in God a little bit more. So, mm -hmm. I know religion often has very strict doctrine. Mm -hmm. And if you deviate from that doctrine in any way, it's... Don't eat pork. Okay, yeah, that's certainly... Don't one. eat shellfish either. Yeah, those are examples. And, and you know what I say to that? A big F you. F you, yeah. Because I'm going to have fun while I'm here. Yeah, I can suck any guy's dick I want. Yeah, you're telling me. What's up? You're telling me God is going to tell me he's going to give me this great life. Yeah, don't eat lobster. Shut up, bitch. Yeah. I still believe in you. I just want to eat pork and lobster sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Now, I do want to get to something you said in the middle there, but... That's a really interesting point. I don't know why they ghost me, David. That I don't know why they ghost me. I don't know. I don't know either, because whenever we're at the tiki bars, he's doing his ooga chaka, and they're all surrounding him. Hey, ping, ping, saying, ping, hit me with it. Hey, ooga chaka, ooga chaka, ooga chaka. And then we got, and then the, all the ladies are like, we want to do it again. Keep it going, man. I was kidding. No, you got one, you got one out of me. No, you got one out of me. You got one out of me. You got one out of me. Oh, I, I like to have a good time. You know, I don't want to steal your good time. God, I love you, Pin. Uh-oh. What All is right. that? We're going to get some evidence uh, to prove <laughs> to Tanya. And that looks like James Corden that's taking... Like that's James Corden taking a free throw at a Knicks game. Do you want to talk about that uh, at all, Tanya? Um, I mean, part, well, yes. I'd love to talk about me and James. No. Am I allowed to? Yeah. That's, uh, is what kind of show is this? What kind of what, 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 what rating does this show have? Uh, great question. It's pretty much just no nudity. Uh, it, after I'm on it, it's probably going to be rated R. <laughs> NC-17. I, I don't. I have no filter. Ooga chaka. Ooga chaka. Ooga chaka. I got no filter. I got no filter. I'm sorry. Blame, blame it on the wine. Can, huh? you, can you mute? Uh, can just tell me this right now. Am I muted for the viewers at home? No, you're not. Just tell me I am. Look, I'll tell you you are, but you're not. You're speaking more into the microphone. <laughs> Just tell me I'm muted. I'll tell you you are, but you're so, grabbing the microphone. You're getting closer that to was it. terrible. <laughs> I'll be quiet. It doesn't matter how quiet you're speaking more into the microphone. Am I muted? No. James and I, James and I have been together for years and years. Okay. I've never loved anyone or anything as much as I love James Corden. He fucks like a bull. Okay. He comes like a water park. Okay. <laughs> I don't like any of his, I don't like any of his opinions or his personality, but sexually he's perfect. Okay. Okay. But that but and that and then you cut and then you cut all that out and then <coughs> we're right back into Ooga chaka, ooga chaka, ooga okay, chaka. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but I think we found an important piece of information here, which is you can have a relationship with God yeah. without adhering strictly to the doctrine. Right? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. You want to yeah. eat shellfish. You want to have a relationship with James Corden. You don't yeah. have to be so devoted to the doctrine. Jesus who turned water into wine. He was a party animal. Yeah, and who He's wants to have a relationship with James Corden? Some gay guy? Yeah, yeah. It's okay, Tanya. It's 
you're in a safe space. I just want to let you know you're in a safe space right now, currently. I'm going through a lot of, a it's, lot of crap. I, I can imagine, but I just want you to know you're you're among the school friends. doesn't the school doesn't like it like it what's, if I'm gay. Catholic school. I'm a nurse at. Oh right, that's right. You they don't like a, it if I'm gay. You can go to a different school. Huh? You can go to a different. I just want you to know right now. No, it's kind of a holdover situation. I haven't seen the movie, so oh, I, it's a great movie. I've heard it is. It's great kind movie. of a holdover situation. Let's talk about the holdover. Subtle. subtle, subtle no, 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 no. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We got, we got a minute and a half. That's plenty of time. Hang on, hang on. A minute is an eternity where I come from. James does his thing when we're going. When we're going. Listen, listen. No, no, no. Everyone, shut everyone, shut the fuck up for a second. What? Everyone, shut the fuck up for a second. Okay. You are in a safe space right now. I'm with your close friend here who you're always at these tiki bars with. Donnie Uga Chaka. Yeah, Uga he does the Uga Chaka. Uga Chaka. You are in a, in, a, in a safe space to just be as true and honest as you want to be right now. And I just want you to know this is a judgment-free zone. I accept people for who they are unquestionably. So whatever you got to do right now, you got a minute left. 15, we can do this. 15 women. Picture this. 15 women around you. <laughs> tiki Steve's in Needles, California. What are you saying? Ping up. Oh no. Oh no. I'm really sorry. That Ping, I'm telling the whole bar that I'm actually 100% I'm certified homosexual. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we ruined his moment of catharsis. Oh, well, he's in a better place. <laughs> and we didn't oh. get to see the AI generated cow. Like oh, now I love that. I'd say, if I had co workers, I'd send that to every single oh, one of them. Uh, damn it. What? Don't worry about that guy. We're uh, just we're just gonna run the clock on this one. Yeah, well we got ten seconds left. <laughs> Anything else you want to close with? Hey, I, I'd love to close with just uh, you know let's let's all like relax a bit. Whether you're Republican or Democrat, why don't you just take a chill pill, okay? Because we're we're not going we're we're not gonna make it we're not gonna make progress if we're yelling at each other. Just have a laugh, relax. I agree. Understand that we're all the part of the human race. We're all part of the human race. Put put a little sippy in your cup. I'm there with if you. If you know what I'm talking about. Some right. vino. And this is, I guess, going to be N.A. What's your name? Hi, my name's Jonathan Talk, and I'm an F-tier Danny Catlow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm also a school nurse. Whoa, really good. Really good. All right, so N.A. represents the uh, J Jonathan Talk. My name is Jonathan Talk, and I am an F-tier Danny Catlow. I also Her nurse at a school. Danny Catlow mm -hmm. uh, of the of what do you want as a credit, Danny? Um, huh? oh? what what should Hammer I credit? Made. Yeah, what do you want as a credit? Advil taker. A Advil taker, Danny Catlow of taking Advil fame. <laughs> He's also in the bear. I've also and been ejected from every improv show I've ever been a part of. Oh, that's brutal. Yes. Is it because you're not funny? It's because I am so. <laughs> It's because I am sexually inappropriate. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, 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 I like this guy. <laughs> I could have fun with him. Oh, no! Oh, 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 what are you doing? I didn't grab a leg, touch a thigh. No! Oh. <laughs> Problematic hey. Danny Catlow. And look who's laughing last. And babe. once again, Ping, you can't, you cannot be beat, man. Uh, yeah, that's because because I'm not taking things too seriously. Uh, I'm not man. taking myself too seriously. I'm I'm just trying to enjoy my time here. Because anytime your ball is gonna be ripped out of you. That's so real, dude. Hey, get back out there in the world. Really good to meet you. Yeah. Good luck with uh, all your medical hey, stuff. Hey, one, one thing before I go. Why don't okay. you loosen up that tie, brother? All right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks okay. for having me. Okay. I, do feel, I do feel changed by him. I do. Anyway, um, I guess we'll go to the beat. We'll, we'll go to the... Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, I think this is going great. And uh, we're going to keep it going. Um, Maybe the secret to the show is to crack open one bottle of white wine before the show gets started. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe that's been the secret of, yeah. The secret to getting us demonetized. Yeah. Maybe giving everybody, a, maybe giving everybody a sixth of a bottle of white wine is the secret to, to getting this thing to, to really fucking light up. All right. Um, we're going to go over to our, our brand new B game here. We're going to go over to a talk radio channel and you, not you, you don't have the opportunity, but people will have the opportunity to call in and talk to that talk radio uh, host. So let's go check it out and then we'll come back with more talk fight. And also before we go, let's get those subs up. Street takes was fun. Let's do one more before the app's done. All right. See you soon.
Hello everyone, this is DJ Alan Chapman of Classical KUSC. I'm sitting in today for DJ Snack the Wife, who is not able to host his typical morning program. Now, normally I introduce classical music on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday mornings on Classical KUSC, but today I'll be hosting a debate over the phone. You'll be calling in to talk to us here at uh, this radio station about some topics that we've selected for you. Uh, without further ado, what are the to what's the first topic for today? And we'll start taking callers as soon as we have our topic. Sounds fun, huh? <laughs> oh, uh, sounds like uh, you're you're ready to to have some fun, huh? <laughs> This is the, I, they gave me the soundboard that they typically give DJ, Snack the Wife. Is that anything? All right, let's see. Uh, new media. That's great. New media. Okay, so we're going to take callers uh, who will be telling us their opinion about new media. All right, so let's get this first caller. Uh, looks like we have a caller here on the line. Yes, hello, sir. What's, what's your name? Yeah, hey, uh, my name is Dan Grover, uh, long-time caller, first-time listener. Uh, why doesn't my TV work? Hmm, why doesn't your TV... Well, we're, we're, we're trying to get some opinions about new media here. We want you to... to it's maybe one of them smart TVs. Is it like a Roku or an Apple TV? Or I'm looking at Tubi right now. Oh, Tubi. <laughs> what was that? That was a fart sound effect that's here on the board. Okay. They left it here for me. All right. What are you trying to watch on Tubi? My daughter was here recently visiting town. She turned things all up around on this thing. Oh, she changed the settings on your Tubi. Yeah. Okay, nah, so nah, you... I wasn't Tubi. I don't know what Tubi is. What is this? Some kind of some kind of pornography? I don't want this. You may. Oh, I, wanna, I see. Okay. I want to watch sixty minutes right now. Can you get that done? Well, I, I suppose I could talk you through it, but I mean, do, do you feel uh, this is perfect? Your frustrations about new media is what you're calling to express, right? You're frustrated with the inability to to get. So, to basic programming on your television set that you used to when, be able to do without. When, when yeah. I was a, when I was a young man, Johnny Carson decided what was on my TV, and he always had gentlemen on the program. All right, they were always well behaved. Nowadays, you got all these kids around with their with their tattoos and everything. I don't like it so much. Mm. Okay. Yeah, tattoos, pretty pretty grim stuff. I mean, what, what, like, was there a particular type of tattoo that's really repugnant for you in, in particular? Uh, yeah, I, I don't like those ones where it's the whole dang arm. What the hell? Right, that makes me feel like this. Price is right, now there's a television show. Thank you for your call, Dan. Let's get someone else on the line. Thank you so much. We're talking about new media here. We're talking about new media here, 95.7. Yes, uh, we have another caller on the line. Hello. Oh, hello. Yes, hi there. Hi, miss. What's uh, your name? Hi, my name is uh, the teeny tiniest Sarah. Um, I, uh, I, I think I might be the youngest, most impressionable girl to ever call into the show. Oh. And I was wondering, how, how can I, <clears throat> excuse me, how can I use, what are some good new media programs out there for kids like me? New media programs out there for kids. Well, have you ever seen the people playing with the goo? You see where they make the goo and stuff, the slime? Have no, you seen that? I've seen a lot of blue bloods, but <laughs> I've never seen the goo. Blue Bloods, are you talking about like old money? Is that? Tom yeah, Selleck. Blue Bloods. Tom Selleck? Okay. Yeah, okay. Tom Selleck. Huh. It's, it's, it's nice. I see. It's, it's a nice show. How about those videos of the, of the little folks running around on the trains and then there's the, the slime on the top and the family guy clips on the bottom? Like oh, on yeah. TikTok. Yeah, I, I, think you might, I think you might be misguided. I'm a little teeny, I'm teeny tiny as Sarah, but I'm not a fucking idiot. Can you recommend me some good shows? <clears throat> Excuse me. Some good shows for kids? Chicago some good shows PD. for... Uh, yeah, you know what? I was just going to say Chicago PD, oh! Chicago Fire. Okay. Um, you can maybe watch uh, any number of versions of NCIS. Those, that shows on TV. those sound nice. What, what happens in those? Uh, crimes and fires oh! in oh! various uh, locales across the United States. That's wonderful. Uh, are, are any of those shows... Oh, Will Trent. Will Trent. Are, are those are, are any are any of those shows that you mentioned similar to um, that the show the the Idol? I really loved the Idol. Oh. It was such a nice show. What was it about the Idol that really struck your fancy? Huh? Oh, I I thought the the um, Johnny Depp's daughter was her dancing was so fun, and I mm -hmm. want to dance like her one day. 
Yeah. Is that that was such a fun show? Are there any other shows like that out for kids like me? Well, gosh. Teeny tiny girls. When you say teeny tiny, what kind? I mean, uh, how old are you? Uh, I'm. Ballpark is. Uh, Twenty three. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you so much, Teeny Tiny Sarah. Uh, good luck. Are you in college? What are you doing? Uh, no, I actually, um, I'm, I, I own my own thrift store. I have, okay. a, I have a small thrift store that I like to run. Are you uh, perhaps located next to three or four other thrift stores seemingly selling the exact same product that you are? Um, I don't think so, but some people have said that before. Well, you're already miles ahead of the competition if that's the case. Thank you so much, Teeny Tiny Sarah. Thank you, Thank you for, for your time. Thank you for taking my call. Thank you for treating me so nicely. Of course. I'm happy to help. It's a debate show, Alan. Oh, is I'm. It? is it? That's what I it thought was we were just. It's as. like a call-in. I think it's just a call-in. It was supposed to be a debate show. I think it's killing it. it. I think it's going great. <laughs> <laughs> You can do it more, more, some of these at the same time. Is that Reggie Watts? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> As the other one's happening. Oh, oh, oh. All right, let's get another caller in, huh? Another caller on the line. Hello, anyone there? Hi. Oh, oh hi there. Hey. What, what's your name? Hi, my name's Jim. Jim. Membership. Jim Membership. <laughs> Where are you calling from, Jim? I'm calling from my dorm. Calling from your dorm, okay, yeah. terrific. Now, uh, so you're a young person. How do you feel about new media as a new person yourself? Well, so I was so, so maybe you can help me like figure this out or whatever. But so me and the other guys were talking and we were like, Bugs Life and Ants in the same like year? Yeah. Like, yeah. it was like something in the water or yeah. like, is that a PSYOP or? PSYOP bro, it's a PSYOP. Yeah, shut up, Kyle. It was sort of like this uh, Armageddon came out the same year as that one, the other one with the meteor, what's the one? The other one? Toy Story. Toy, the other Story, Toy Story Yeah, Toy Story. Yeah, so it's a it's a confusing, it's a confusing okay. thing. Um, do, which do you prefer? No, no so hold on, one of my frat brothers said Deep Impact. Yeah. I, wanted, I just want to let you know, that guy has been kicked out of the, the frat and the door. Ah. But dude, he went to the hospital last week. They said he was in a coma. He's awake. Deep he's, impact. We should forgive all that stuff he did. He was in a coma. Yeah, dude. He's awake. He's awake. <laughs> Congratulations okay, 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 on your you friend getting out of that coma. So like... Deep, deep impact. <laughs> Can you even hear him? No. Okay, I didn't think so. I, I'm assuming, I mean, what was he saying? Is he well, ever since he was in the he coma, saying deep he would only say deep impact. And okay. now that he's awake from the coma, he's still, he's saying still deep just impact. saying deep impact. Yeah. So did you prefer Did you prefer the Woody Allen one or the other one, the, the Pixar one? The Anthony Bourdain one? What'd you say? The, the Woody Allen one. Oh, because for a second Ants I was thought Woody he was Allen. saying Anthony Bourdain was in it. I was like, that'd be crazy. That would be really silly. He's like cooking and like traveling and yeah. stuff, but he's a bug. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Or something. Which yeah. one was his? Uh, he was the one, the Ants one, was uh, Sly Stallone. Sly Stallone was also in that one. He was the big buff ant. Right? I wish I liked that one because it was a very orange movie, and orange is our favorite color here at Syracuse. <laughs> Q's the or we're the oranges. Calling it all the way from the Q's. Now, Jim membership, you are at a, a pretty advanced, uh, technologically sound college campus, sort of on the cutting edge, the bleeding edge of campus culture. Oh, yeah, Do they you, got rockets. They, right. That they let you use? Do they let you use rockets there on campus? Oh, I just know there's rockets under the quad. Okay. You were saying? Like intercontinental, intercontinental ballistic missiles rockets? Or what kind of rockets are we talking about? You could call them that, dude. But I'll tell you this, whatever they do, they definitely can first strike North Korea. <laughs> ah. Yes. So long, North Korea. Okay, Jim. Thank you so much for your time. We've learned a lot more about Syracuse. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Anybody else? We have another person calling in. Hi there. Hi there. What's your name? I'm Rosemary. Rosemary, thank you for calling in. Uh, so you have an opinion you'd like to share about uh, new media? Is that right? Yes. I have a new idea for more media. For more media? Yes. Okay, fire away. Okay, well, I went to a baseball game, which I do, did not... I, I don't like baseball. <laughs> but they, they did something for me at the game. Okay, what was it? There was a part where three sa people dressed up as sandwiches had a race. Ah. <laughs> and all the crowd got excited um, deciding and betting on which sandwich would win the race. 
I see. And this just delighted me. Mm. And the problem <laughs> is that the game there's too much baseball and not enough sandwiches. Mm. And I think for people like me who are there, we could maybe expand on it. Like, who are the sandwiches to each other? <laughs> what have they been through? <laughs> and we could kind of expand on that universe a little bit, which the M&M's Corporation has done to great success mm. with the their M&M characters. They all have a personality. And um, and before the movies, we learn all about them. We learn all about them. They're dynamic. And it's so um, good. So you're saying make the baseball game shorter and expand on sandwich lore during the game. Yeah, maybe they could do something like Boz Lerman's Romeo and Juliet. The movie? No. Are you saying they just show a movie about the sandwiches on the Jumbotron? You know Boz Lerman's idea where he took Romeo and Juliet and made it different? <laughs> right. Yeah. He maybe the sandwiches could, could do something like a familiar story and make it different. Maybe You'd they like could to... do Jack and the Beanstalk with guns on, on Venice Beach. I'm just, I'm, they don't have to do exactly that. Do you know what I mean? Right. By, by Jack and the Beanstalk, but guns in Venice Beach? Sure. It's kind of giving bowling alley strike animation. Yes, I was going to bring that up as well. There, yeah. When I go bowling, there's much, there's much too much bowling, and they show me a short movie on the on the TV. Yeah. And I'd like that to be more. Okay. That's a new idea for more media. I think that's a great. I think that's a very interesting proposal. Um, I don't know who we would get on the horn. Maybe you know. Actually, we could loop in. Maybe we could call. A city field or some other we major should, baseball should, stadium, and maybe an investor. An investor, an angel investor for the sandwich movies. Yes. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Let's get maybe we can get them on the horn. Is there some maybe we can call someone up from a local baseball oh, stadium? Let's loop them in. Let's get them on. Stay on the line, Rosemary. We're gonna oh, get. I'm here. I'm here. Okay, terrific. Stay right there. Hello, I this is Mr. Met, the the guy with the big baseball fur ahead. Mr. Met. Um, I'm on the phone with a young woman named Rosemary who's got a great idea for a sandwich movie that you can play at the baseball stadium. Okay, we, we lost a lot of money on the whole Bernie Madoff situation, so I'm a little hesitant to jump back into any investments. But what do you got? Uh, well, what, take it away, Rosemary. Give us your pitch. All right. You know how the sandwiches have a race and everyone is excited to pick which sandwich wins? Yeah, we're very <laughs> about that. What if we expanded on that story? We found out who the sandwiches are to each other, what's happened to them. Maybe we do kind of a Boz Lerman thing where it's like Jack and the Beanstalk on the beach with guns. So they, they're on the beach, they got guns, they're all kissing and fucking up on each other and all that stuff? Yeah, but they're saying like poetic stuff. So you're telling me they're speaking all classy and old, but they're doing stuff at, like, Venice Beach where they're, like, going down on each other and shooting a gun? <laughs> yes, it's like the juxtaposition makes it so sweet. Hmm, hmm. Let me talk to Daryl Strawberry about this and get back to you, okay? Well, give me your number. All right, I gave it to you. <laughs> Great, and I'm, getting, I'm looking at my phone, and there is the text. And send me your address, too, if you could. All right. Okay, I'm going to pick you up at 8 p.m. We're going to talk about this a little bit more. All right? You take care, Rosemary. And hey, you, what's your name? Hey. Uh, oh, me. I'm sorry. I was so excited on, on her behalf. Uh, it's me, Al Alan Chapman. DJ oh. Alan Chapman. Okay. Uh, thanks for the call, pal. And uh, go Mets, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Really wasn't sure what baseball stadium I would be calling, but it's great that uh, we got at least one of them on the horn. Uh, I think we have time for one more call. One more call, and then we'll be... Good to go. So again, we want some opinions on new media. We're trying to yeah, hear. Hi, are you there? Yes, hello. Hi, what's your name, sir? Hi, my name's William Problem. I'm all fucked up. William Problem. <laughs> now, what's got you all fucked up, William? Is it the ra is Dude, it uh, new media? Fucked up. You know that book, A Series of Unfortunate Events? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. She yeah, the series of books. She wrote that about my fucking life, man. I swear to God, I'm all fucked up right now. It's mm -hmm. all so fucked up. So I do inventory at the local grocery. Uh huh. And. <laughs> They fucked me over, dude. They basically, I used to use just pen and paper, and then they said I got to bring in an iPad. So I had to go to the Apple store and get myself an iPad. And basically, I got 16 two year olds at home, all different. Um, <laughs> all different names. I can't remember a single. Now, hold remember. on a minute, William. Did, it's not my fault. I don't want them. So. <laughs> Were, so these, a, were, they, so, were these all from the same litter, so no, to speak? No, dude, I got, I got eight brothers in the same house, and they keep popping them out. So they're not your children. They all came from the same party. 
Okay, so 16 all the sixteen two year olds, sixteen two year olds, so, all can see so at the same two, birthday party. Two years and nine okay. months ago, we had a party, and all eight of my brothers got twins mm-hmm. from that party. Yeah, because they did what they called a hot tub supreme. <laughs> Would you care to unpack that for us, William? No, I, this isn't even my problem. This is my brother's problem. Yeah, but I mean, so I got so I got an iPad at the Apple people, store, and I get home, and these fuckers, these little fuckers, love the iPad so much I can't even take it to work. So I had to buy another iPad to try and take it to work. I sneak that one in under my jacket. These little babies see the iPad, and they start going after the iPad. All and sixteen they, so simultaneously. They, so now it's eight babies on one iPad, eight babies on another, and I'm still shit out of luck at work. I show up to work. That I said, "Can I please use the pen and paper?" No, William, you need an iPad. I go back to the Apple Store. I go, "Look, these guys, little fuckers at home, keep getting my iPad." So, wham! I get back. I get the third iPad into the store. Little do I know, this fucker is a touch screen. I never used that before. Well, William, I'm sorry to hear you <laughs> had these problems. Now, is it just the case like, that... That's my question. Yeah. I was, uh, so that's my question. I was just going to say, Lemony Snicket, you sort of utilizing the lathe of heaven to, to, to figure out exactly what your life would be like in the future. Wow. Really remarkable stuff. So that's my question, man. What's the, yeah, what, what's what do the question? I do with that screen? With the screen? With the touch screen? Yeah. You, you touch it like it would be... Because like, it so turned like, on and then it says, all the, it says set a passcode and I'm stuck there. So you see the little numbers there on the screen, right? With for the passcode? Yeah, and there's words below them. Uh-huh. The words are abac, def, g. So those are the letters traditionally associated with those numbers on a tr- on a traditional okay. landline, on a <laughs> landline or a cell phone. A tr- yeah. The last one's weird, man. What's the last one? Okay. So those are buttons that you can press. You can just press directly onto the screen. It won't disturb the screen. It won't affect the screen. It will simply It'll work just like a traditional keyboard. I got distracted. Do you know anyone at America's Got Talent? <laughs> yeah, I do. Nick Cannon. Do you know Nick Cannon? Yes, I love to watch his reactions to the other talents. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were in the same frat. Can you get me? Can you get me one moment on on? on can you get me one digital moment yeah, with him? Yeah, let me get him on the phone. Get, uh, hey, can we? Uh, uh, no, we actually can't do that one. No, him. no, producers, get him on the phone right now. We can't. Get, we no, get Nick Cannon on the phone right now. Because get him get, on the phone. Get him on the phone. A lot of guys have said I'm good at beatboxing. I believe you. Would you let, do it right now? <laughs> See, I'll do that for the babies. Eh? I'll do that for the babies. Eh? They do what? Sorry, I fell asleep. Oh. <laughs> Thank you.
Welcome back. Uh, talk radio. Still, there's still a world for it. That's nice. That's very nice. Uh, folks, we're going to continue to just... Did we get any new uh, sponsors, by the way? Has anyone else? I honestly would be fine never cutting back to that screen based on what's already there. But if there's anything else, uh, let me know. If not, I think we're going to jump right back in uh, to our to our conversations here with some of our experts. So uh, to inform what bullpen of experts I'll be pulling from, let's get another pretty general topic. Um, just something we can kind of bring in some people to discuss. 20th century American literature. I like that a lot. Um, that's actually a pretty good one. Oh, names of games. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. That is awesome. Uh, we're two more away from doing one more street takes. I'd like to get one more uh, talk fight in and then maybe we'll close on street takes. Um, so while we wait for those two, let's, let's, I'm sorry, there were so many claps and stuff, I missed all the topics. Uh, cinema and its decline, hot tub ethics, um, small boats, Taylor freaking Swift, um, or like super big notes, boats, world leaders, thank you very much, uh, bro, bro modo, is that how you say it? I hope so. Clout. Always an interesting topic. War, always fun. Um, Frasier, perfect, perfect. And we, fuck it, let's just go back to street takes. We hit it, let's just fucking go back to street takes. Then we'll come back to this, but we hit it. Why, why bother? We didn't get a topic. <laughs> What's, we've done $50 now or double it and give it to the next person. And we've done, what is your salary? What is another guy who's making a TikTok video where he's got that tiny little microphone and he's going up to people on the street and there's that one little wire and it's like, why do you have this microphone? Why, where did these things proliferate from overnight that everyone's got this tiny little microphone they all walk around with now? Body count. Uh, body count's great. We're taking body count. asking some people some questions on the street what's your body count this means how many sexual women i have had sexual. uh it means how many how many women have you had sex with or how many partners have you had sex with one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen no you two four five six seven eight nine ten. hey sir uh what's your body count my body count. I've slain 600 uh, invaders in the Peloponnesian Wars. No, sorry. I mean, I mean, how many people have you had sex with? I've fucked them all. Oh. Hey, uh, what's your body count? Um, three foxes, 14 rabbits, seven sloths. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Uh, a big old doggy. <laughs> Hey, sir, uh, what's your body count? Uh, how to save a life, the Glee version. No, sorry, I didn't. <laughs> no, sorry, I was asking. Why do you look like that also? <laughs> how to save... Hey, uh, what's your body count? Well, I fucked that guy with the rabbit ears and mice mate for life. Aw, that's very sweet, so... <laughs> hey, 
Hey, what's your body count? I have slain thousands in the villages in the Outlands. Sorry, I met another guy wearing the exact same shirt as you, but a different helmet, and we had a similar problem. I'm asking how many people have you had sex with? I fucked them all. <laughs> I did 20, 21, 22. You paused for 20, so long between 17 and 25. 18. I don't know how to count after 100. I'm at 924, 25, 26. I've had sex with four women. <laughs> hey, man, uh, what's your body count? Oh, please, I'm saving myself for the Lord. Oh, that's so zero? Yeah, and just little old me. You're going to have sex with God? Is that your plan? Uh, yeah, exactly. Wait until I die, and until then, I'll just um, use my little old hand. Oh, oh, oh. Right there. Oh, goodness. Hey, uh, what's your body count? My body count? Yeah. It's four. Oh, you've, had, you've been with four partners in your life? Yes. Hey, what's... Oh, my God. What's your body count? I... Oh. What? Have, have you ever had sex? Yes, I have a... <laughs> You're, what's going on? You're doing great. You're doing great. Oh, I have a boner. That's why. Excuse me, sir. What's your body count? You look awesome, by the way. What's your body count? Shit, man. I'm a virgin. Oh, wow. I did not think that. You look so cool, dude. Thank you, man. I start jacking off all the time. <laughs> Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, hey, bye, sir. Hey, sir. What? Sir, sorry. What's your body count? My body count? It's yeah. as high as my bank account. Bye, <laughs> sir. What does that mean? What's up? What does that mean? What's up? What does that mean? Cut away. No, no, no. Hey, uh, what's your body count? That's inappropriate to ask. I'm oh. a professor <laughs> of archaeology, and I'm in love with Marion. Oh my god, are you? Indiana Jones. I did not expect you to be so prudish about your body count, Indiana. Teachers can't say. Hey, what's your body count? Uh, my name is Dr. Anthony Fauci, and I've killed over three million people! All right, we've already been demonetized, so feel free to go crazy. What's your body count? One, last night. Oh, congratulations. Thanks. He was huge. Oh, okay. Where's your shirt? Left it. Oh, that's quirky, I guess. We were in the art gallery. You had sex in an art gallery together? Yeah, it was his opening. Oh, this guy sounds really cool. He's poor. Oh, okay. I get. Thanks for your time. How old are you? No, I... Hey, what's your body count? Hmm? What's your body count? Number of partners you had sex with? 19 grizzly bears. You've had sex with 19 grizzly bears? I've grinned down 19 grizzly bears. You... <laughs> hey, uh, what's your body count? Oh, honey, I'm Samantha Jones. Don't you know I fucked about 300 people? But a dirty oh, word, uh, the dirty word for me is I love you. <laughs> oh, are you? You're you're one of those uh, socialites in the big city. Yeah, I like to fuck and I suck, but my heart is off limits. Wow. <laughs> I'm the face. What? Sorry. I'm the face. What's your body count? Though? I'm the face. What's your body count? <laughs> I'm the face. What's your, what's your I'm body? just the face. Okay, so you can't have sex. <laughs> I'm the face! Grant, don't cut here. Don't cut here. <laughs> don't you Grant, dare don't cut. Don't cut here. What's your body ah, oh, oh, oh. I'm the face! Okay, tell me a little bit more about that. Don't you dare cut away! Ah, we're not. <laughs> don't worry, we're not. It's me, the face! Great, so tell me a little bit more about that. Ba -da 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 -da, ba -da -da -da, cut away! No, hold it here. No. Tell me a little bit more I'm about that. The, uh. Tell me a little bit more about being the face. Shh, 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 shh. 
Bumper, bumper, bumper. Cut to the bumper. All right, I've come around too. Cut to the bumper. This is Grant acting solo at this point. Cut to the bumper. Cut to the bumper. Go to the bumper. Stay, Grant. Grant, go to the bumper. He's he's whole, he's blocking the stream deck, so I can't. He's physically covering the stream deck. <laughs> We met DeFace. That was pretty cool. I'd say that was pretty damn cool. Um, that was Street Takes. And, and wow, turn, we're only 14 away from doing it one more time. It would be pretty freaking crazy if we did that. I don't think we're going to do that. Um, so let's go ahead and let's, let's get a couple more topics here to close us out. Um, let's get another topic here. So uh, Moderately sized boats. A lot of people want to talk about boats, it seems like. I don't understand what that's all about. Um, recycling, school nursing, uh, subway prices, farming, dreams. Uh, a lot of people are saying deface again. Not, not going to take cum, obviously. Thank you, Dames of Games. Trying to keep it going here. Who's going to join them? Uh, the economy. I like that, Apple's Dragon. Thank you very much. We're going to take it. The economy. The economy. It's a crazy thing. I don't understand it at all. They tell me things are bad, but then I don't know. I don't know what that means. Stocks move all the time. Feels like it doesn't make sense. So let's get some experts in to speak about the economy. Yep, come on in. Come on in. Um, great, and so uh, we're going to go ahead and start uh, with the person to my left here. Um, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, hey, what's up? I'm uh, Prescott McNulty. Um, I'm basically just like the worst fucking guy from your film school. Oh. Um, what's up? Prescott, a uh, film student. Um, that's yeah. really cool. When you make a movie, are you are you focusing on story, or are you just trying to get a red or a, a really fancy I mean, black magic or something? I don't really even like to think about it as telling a story because it's kind of like so actually kind of more than that. Um, but I guess yeah, I'm a storyteller. I'm um, a scribe, a visionary, um, and it's actually awesome that we're talking about the economy because I think that's actually like hella important right now. And you so, describe yourself as a visionary. I mean, I I. I would. Okay. And uh, over to my right here. Let's go ahead and introduce you. Oh. Yeah, hey. Uh, my name is Jake Throbbing. I work in <laughs> pornography. <laughs> Great. And uh, I'm a school nurse. Dra Ugh. Dra Jake Throbbing, you work in pornography and you're a school nurse. Probably. Passion is school nursing. Your passion work is, is school nursing. Work is pornography. Okay. So the, to, the, to pay the bills. Okay. Yeah. Great. Uh, well, we're going to talk about the economy, and it sounds like you have to work multiple jobs to make ends meet, so we have a lot to talk about there, but I want to start over here with Prescott. Let's talk about the economy. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's like kind of fucked up how it is right now, you know? Um, and we're changing the topic right away. Cool, cool. And so it doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, I agree. Um, let's figure out what that is, because it was anonymous. Uh, oh, we here already got it. Cinema. Oh, great. Okay. Go ahead, Prescott. Cook right now. Wow. I mean, where to even begin, right? I mean, first of all, I want to say, like, just because uh, the guy across the table from Jake. me, Jake, um, he dabbles in uh, another type of moving picture, I still hella respect that. You know, I, I try to have a lot of um, nudity in my films. Um, I'm actually seeing a freshman right now who is kind of my muse. 
Um, and you want you yeah. make her you make her naked in your movies? Yeah, well, I don't make her naked. Uh, I it's like okay to say, to that, say it, man. You make her naked in your movies. Well, I like to say that the story kind of demands that she be naked, and Can then I'm an just kind of privileged enough to be behind the camera Can when you it happens. Give an example of a story you've told recently with her in where it was it was crucial that she be naked on camera for it. Um. Well, we had this like one kind of epic like. It was sort of sci-fi. It was sort of noir. We shot it in black and white. Actually, here's a still from it from before we colored it. Perfect. Perfect. Um, yeah. Uh, it was awesome. Uh, we totally crowdfunded it. Um, was all the backing like two donors? It was my parents. parents. It was my parents. But they're, you know, they hit up the GoFundMe. So it was crowdfunded. Yeah. So you also paid a website instead of just getting them to Venmo you or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Well, we had to make sure that it appeared to be crowdfunded. So my parents made sure to donate it under uh, a variety of anonymous uh, and like fi fictional names. Great. But, let's get this still up. Uh, yeah. So this was before we did. <laughs> this is before we got to color grading. Um, which we did spend about thirty thousand dollars on. Um, and so, but where is where does the naked freshman girl show up in this situation? If you were to pan just slightly to the left, she is full frontal right there. Um, which obviously the school had some issues with when we did screening day for theses. Um, but it's like, who cares what the man thinks? You totally, know, totally. We're now, trying to make art here. I want to go over to uh, Mr. Throbbing because you're you're you understand cinema a bit as well from your work. So uh, let's talk about it. Well, uh, let me explain what I do on set. I think that might maybe contextualize my sure. uh, my, my my expertise here. Copy. Uh, we say my copy when we understand, by yep, the way, yep. on film sets. Yeah, copy. Copy. Yeah, yeah. You say copy. That as well. That's what we, we say. Film we, say sets. Well, we say comfy because I work in pornography. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, comfy this, comfy that. Uh, can I get a C forty seven over here, comfy? C forty seven. That means uh, it gets that means paper or uh, close close pen. pen. Means close pen. pen. Yeah. It gets confusing because that's what also um, a pet name for my grandmother in our family. Okay, she's my com our comfy. <laughs> <laughs> What do you do on set? So my job basically is, you know how like the guy's got to be hard all day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So You're sometimes, no, I'm okay. I'm actually the opposite. You're a default. Sometimes those guys hit hard for too long, mm. and it's on old Jake Throbbing to come along with his little hammer and. Knock it back down. Knock them boners down. So you're them you're gotta pound them boners out. You're a control for the fluffer. Where if they go too far, if the fluffer goes too far, or the medication doesn't doesn't stop it all, old J old Jake Throbbing comes in and and you smash their, their yeah, smash their boners. Okay. Smash their boners. Yeah, yeah it's an unfortunate <coughs> but very real reality. How does that inform your relationship with cinema? Do you think? Hmm. How does how would you say that your job as a guy on right. pornography sets who will hit a boner with a hammer till it's no longer a boner? How would you say that that informs your relationship with cinema? Damn. Well, I guess it's. I've never really thought about it actually. Oh. Huh. I guess it like it's really making me think like when I'm like watching a movie. Uh huh. You know, and it's like. I'm so in it. I'm so like loving the world those guys are doing. Immersion, the characters. immersion. The world you're looking yes. for is immersion. And I'm and I'm and I'm and I'm. There's the the my, the mizen mizen. Mise en scène. That's yeah. going on, and I'm that's loving that. Sure. But then I'm thinking mise en place. Mise en place mm. as well. And that's for movies about chef like Ratatouille. And I'm thinking, damn, you know what? Is, you know what's ejecting me from this experience? Don't say it. Is, huh? Don't don't say, don't say that word. I wouldn't say that word. Actually, the story me? you're telling me is reminding me about another short film that I made. Do I, you have a still I from that short film? Still from my yeah. Okay. Um, so this is actually a really experimental piece because we we started working with picture in picture, um, and this was kind of just to sh demonstrate to the audience that. Cat kind of looked like a chicken. Um, which was your girlfriend naked in this movie? She as was. Well? If you were to pan just slightly to the left, you would see my. And she's not really my girlfriend. She's more of. It's kind of like a situation ship. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. she is full frontal immediately to the left of that cat. So this movie, sorry. So this movie starts. And she wasn't off. actually in the movie. I should be clear. She was just my muse for that. So she was fully nude on set for the duration of the film, but we didn't actually put her in the movie. Got it. Got it. Got it. Okay. Okay, that is very uh, informative. Um, what do you think about that? The the immersion, the things we're talking about immersion. We're talking about. Um, and I, I would like to say I didn't even make a complete thought mm, on that. Mm, <laughs> I don't you, know if anybody caught that, but I just sort of trailed off on on immersion. You got away with it. Sure. 
Just thought I, I just notice it now. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Keep going. I forgot what I okay, was saying. Okay, then let's move on. We're talking about immersion. We're talking about immersion. Yeah, I mean, immersion is honestly, I think, kind of what we're all chasing, right? And that's why my next picture is going to be fully in uh, 3D. We are shooting the whole thing. Actually, I put on, I got an early access to the Apple Vision Pro, and uh, I shot the entire thing in in full 3D virtual reality. What's it about? I, we actually have a still from it. I don't know. I brought it as evidence. Okay, sure. Um, Does maybe, your freshman we'll girlfriend make an up. appearance in that as well? Um, I was carrying my freshman girlfriend fully nude on my back, sort of piggyback styled for the duration of that shoot. Um, I just like to have her. Sorry, what I, I are like you to have doing? What are you doing right now? My what are you doing right now? I'm just uh, using my stud finder. Okay, you're using your stud finder. Just making sure neither of you guys has been rock hard for too long. Okay, the stud finder. This finds. is a set. Okay. And y'all got dongs. Okay. I got I, a job to do. I'm I'm fine. Looking like here a right true now. intimacy coordinator. Um, de coordinator. Um, and when Excuse you're me. when your naked girlfriend's on set, do you have an intimacy coordinator? No, no, no. no okay. Because no, no, no. we couldn't like, get away with any of that. You're stuff just like I'm. Ways. I'm cool. Yeah, we're cool. It's like not a big deal. She's like really into it. It seems like based on like her body language. Do you um, think that when she gets a little older, she's gonna realize you were kind of predatory and not like you anymore? No, and so here's a still from uh, that movie that I was just talking about that I shot with the Apple Vision Pro. Um, we did get some Why notes Why is it that, pointing to a jar of honey behind Yeah, that. well that's not actually honey, but it's interesting that, you know, the fact that you even picked up on it is great because we did have to add the arrow in post to point out the piss jars. Oh, it's piss. Um, Why are they different jars? Well, f for different, different things, levels. yeah, different hydration levels, yeah, exactly. But people weren't picking up on that, so we thought that the best way to do visual storytelling, and that's telling the story visually without talking about it yeah was to put a big arrow pointing to what we wanted the viewer to look at we have to do that a lot too yeah sometimes, during the sex scenes they'll point to like the stuff going on that is sometimes there's like so much stuff flying around that i've seen the director be like we got to get some arrows in there so they know what's like a p what's a the g and they're doing that practically where they're having somebody dangle an arrow into the shot they're that's not doing my, that in post my buddy mike does that <laughs> okay. got a little arrow yeah, that's your arrow guy it's, it's arrow like guy. you know how like kermit the frog's hands yeah kind of like, it's like that but it's it's a little hand you can't be arrow. practical effects and i mean god knows we've been trying but i mean sometimes just having a guy holding a mm -hmm. picture of an arrow kind of just like Dipping it into the shot here and there to point out a piss jar or what's a P or what's a G is really you Does know. Does your the best girlfriend way to ever try effect. to break up with you and then you say you don't want to? Do and that I don't actually. like to refer to her as my girlfriend because right. that has all these sort of like. Does your girlfriend ever try to attach no to it? be in a situationship with you, or maybe asks for something more real with you? I try not to talk to her about that kind and of we're stuff. Out of time. You know, it's like you know, I really try to keep it on the art. Okay, great. We're out of time. We're going to put a vote up now. Uh, who we think has the best understanding of cinema? Who, I have been true, rock hard this whole time. Who is the true expert? Okay, so if you want to smash your Oh, yeah, it's a hammer, demonstration. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, wow. You're so really going quiet. for it. <laughs> yeah, it's so quiet. Huh? It's incredible how quiet it well, is. Very, I got a that's tiny, what you gotta I use got a movie set little, so that you're not interrupting uh, the shot. Got a tiny yeah. little choke, ch uh, chuku nut. Mm -hmm. He's got a tiny little. <laughs> he's got a tiny little chuku nut as well. Okay. So we're gonna get the poll up to see who we we feel is the real expert on uh, on cinema here. Um, okay, great. And it's not a debate. Just Wait, we're both everyone. named Jake. No, this my name's Prescott. Prescott. The engineer is uh, oh. ruining the immersion of the episode. So, oh no, uh, you are. Uh, <laughs> you want me to iron them out? No, no. Just no, 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 so no, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. The the verisimilitude has been shattered. Yeah, that word means like make it yeah. look real. I saw Pokemon. You saw Pokemon? <laughs> I saw Pokemon. <laughs> you saw a Pokemon. Somebody here saw. Which Pokemon. one? Which one? Which one? Brain drill. Beedrill. Brain drill is what I heard. Oh, Beedrill. Oh, Beedrill. <laughs> Beedrill. Got the ha uh, hands are drills. Big B hands are drills. Great. Beedrill. We don't know which one won because uh, the big B with the hands that are drills. Fucking Jake. Beedrill. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, clearly Jake. Uh, the cool. Yeah. Yeah. Great. All right. Let's drills. close this. Let's get you two out, and we're gonna get a new topic up. It's like a big B. Did yeah. that go good? What's up? Yeah, that went great. All I'm right. just gonna say, can you hop on the computer? <laughs> And away I go. Thank you so much. All right, we have time for one more top. Oh, you're just coming out. You're just coming out. <laughs> you my immersion. You want to grab a seat? No, too? no my immersion. Fix it, Chris. Fix it. I you thought grab this a was a real too? TV show. Chris, make it be normal. Chris, make it be normal. Do you are okay. We're just sitting. All right, <laughs> let's get a last topic here. 
Well, hot tub streams. More wine. <laughs> uh normal let's get a topic here let's just get an actual topic here i don't know why we're all struggling so much with that um pokemon okay sure we'll take pokemon we're gonna be talking about pokemon we saw one earlier apparently let's go ahead and be drill be drill let's go ahead and meet our panelists let's start with you right over here uh what's up on metro pcs <laughs> Hi, Metro PCS. Hey. What do you do? Uh, I'm uh, a school nurse, and I'm also the only guy to get choked out on Shark Tank. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's my claim to fame, very, other than helping kids. Very nice to meet you. What did you take to Shark Tank? Oh, I took my whole self, and I got <laughs> choked out. <laughs> yeah. Thank yeah. you. And let's go ahead and meet you, too. Hi, I'm Elevator Knee. Elevator Knee. I'm in sports medicine, and uh, during the off season, I am a school nurse. Okay, great. And you? I'm Nate Fisher. I'm a funeral home director. Okay. Uh, we're talking about. And I'm a school nurse. Okay, perfect. <laughs> had to get that in there. Really had to get that in there. Nate Fisher. Nate Fisher. Uh, Pokemon. Let's talk about it. You got you got choked out at a Shark Tank. Yeah. Um, what do you think about Pokemon? Well, it's kind of fitting because the reason I got choked out was I tried to capture Mark Cuban oh. and sell him back to the Sharks. Oh. So I got the idea. I saw them try. I, I was playing a lot of Pokemon and saw them trap powerful these powerful creatures in and then harness them. And I thought if I could do that to one of the most rich richest men. In, in in the world, be then I could be a master. I could be the Pokemon master. So I tried to capture Mark Cuban. I got choked out by Damon and Lori. And Lori, Lori, wow. Lori was what really. Lori was the last person I remember. You seeing. know, you know, this is what's wrong with with uh, with uh, um, America. Is this corporate crap? You know, like 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 whatever happened to just just families being normal and 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 just feeling your emotions. Can you? What do you mean? What are you talking? Yeah, about? what the hell are you talking about, man? Families being normal? Like you guys are going for this crazy television show. I mean, what is it? What even is all this crap in the studio? You know? This is a. This is a. I almost said it. This is an expert panelist show. This don't you ever? Don't you ever want to just cook a meal with your family or or or, or 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 read a book? I used to do that. I used to cook meals with my girlfriend. Yeah. Well, I have something just to, to respond to that. Okay. In the new show, Pokemon Concierge, Psyduck is the main character, but mostly in the past, we've seen Pikachu be the main character. Great. So they really went on, on a limb and took a big risk by f uh, featuring Psyduck as the main character. Okay. Thank you. That's actually and, the and that's, first that's a good. Shut up, man. <laughs> I, 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 you ought to fuck off. Cause your energy is so fucked, honestly. I, I'm trying to come in. I'm so fucked. Do you guys get this impression? You I guys, you guys Rocky, don't even. I think only Rocky does. You guys don't get home. the impression, and that's fine. But you guys are so fucked up in here. Like, like you, you're having amazing thoughts, and I want to get to know you so good. And and you are. You need to fuck off, man. Okay. Fair enough. Looking for Rocky's Yeah, we're comment. only here. We're only here on Earth for a short time, and so every story doesn't need to be about Pikachu. And like Pikachu is really cute. Yes. But there's other Pokemon too, and we saw that Psyduck can carry a story. And let's kind of keep going down that path. I I think that's a great point. I think Pokemon, each one of them is their own unique individual person. We could go on for a bunch of time about it. I mean, don't you agree with that? Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I, I have a lot of kids at my high school who all want to talk about Pokemon. Yeah. And, and any time I'm, I'm giving them lice at school, I You're giving them lice. Yeah, that's okay. part of the that's part of the curriculum. Is I as a school nurse uh, need to make sure that the lice population is healthy. Okay, on we're their getting head. some evidence here. You brought yeah, yeah. I brought some evidence. Yeah, clearly this. Yes, yeah. This this is this is what I show the kids. I occupy that. I say. Uh, 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 nurse, nurse Metro PCS is gonna do is gonna put a little more lice on your head. In the meantime, look at this, and <laughs> the kids love him. 
Yeah, I'm the picture of hey, Robocop and Yeah, hey, hey, hi, hey, hey, I don't control what kids are into, okay? I, I, I just know what they like. Yeah, That's what the kids are. They like Pokemon. They like Robocop, C-3PO. They, they love WD-40. They love, yeah. they love jokes. And meet them where they are. Yeah. Like, don't, don't. Don't shit on their interests. Yeah, like, and you brought some evidence as well, so let's let's take a look at yeah, that. Yeah, let's take a look. C3, I'm not going to read the rest of that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so you're talking about meeting them where they are, don't, yeah. sh don't shit on their interests, things yeah. like that. Yeah, I'm laughing my ass off at this because this is a really good joke. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good one. Yeah. It really is. <laughs> Thank you for bringing that yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could I could flip that one. Yeah. I could flip that for money. It's so good. Okay. And, hey. and maybe, like, older people might be like, oh, you guys need to be laughing at, um, like, The Office. Yeah. Something, something smells like, like boiled eggs in here to you, to, 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 to you guys? I mean, I mean, I, mean, I just, just want a chubby burger, double chubby burger. What? What's what? going on? Nate, are you okay? I just, want a, I just want a double chubby, jelly, double chubby burger. Nate, what's chubby happening with you? He's having a mild seizure. It oh, seems like it. Fucking A, man. God Everybody damn. Google six feet under. Uh, I fucking A, dude. Fuck. I got AVR in my head. Fuck. But Pokemon, the fucked up thing, man. They used to, it used to be just one fifty, simple for every kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, that's a good point. Every kid to get into, These every days. family to get into. Yeah. Now we got kids getting into memes, getting Thank different social want, media yeah. accounts. It's fucked, man. Yeah. Take your kid to the organic grocery store. I agree. Yeah. Man. Yeah. They should learn the names of the vegetables before they learn any more cartoon characters. Yeah. I swear yeah. to fucking yeah. God. Well, oh, yeah. Hang on, sorry, really quick. Uh, permanent condom, the condom that stays on forever, the United States Supreme Court, Doctors with Borders, 1-800-Erotic-Film-Chumpies-For-Grandma-7. Cumpies. Cumpies. Cumpies, sorry, and Chubby Burger. Thank double you. chubby, I want a chubby, double, double chubby, chubby. Ah, fuck it, hey, man. Here, here's the thing, and I think everyone will agree with what I say. Yep. When Pokemon started, it all the Pokemon came from nature, like Pikachu's an electric mouse. Yeah, it makes sense. And now they've got these Pokemon that are like Chumanzumar. And it's like, what? this didn't come from nature. Yeah, what, what's up with the <laughs> ones that like look like people, too? They just look like people. Yeah. Oh, like Jinx, like Jinx was really weird. They're, yeah. they're, they're, There's some of them that straight up peak like loop or loop like people. Or oh, fucking A, are dude. Are you banned from the set now? Or is there a restraining order where like Mark Cuban's. Oh, know? no, they had me back. Oh, really? it, it, yeah. It, it got, it did so well. And the people were like, we love that. So they brought me back. I I tried to capture Damon the next time. This time Barbara choked me out. Wow. Gotta Barbara catch choked them all. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like and Barbara choked me out. She's the very smaller older woman. Right? What if we well, have, yeah, she looks smaller. she <laughs> looks like the smaller older woman. Uh, but she but when when you feel her her the crook of her elbow around your fucking windpipe man, she's not the small elder like, you know, she She's the str she's the the great white shark. Oh, I think I know. saw I think they I saw really an episode. She strength. talks about her New York apartment. Yeah. yeah, I wish I had the strength to yeah. uh, physically assault my guests. It, it, the the, the even better thing is is r the last thing I heard her say before she went out is is I'm in. Oh, wow. she gave me three hundred thousand dollars for a five percent owner ownership stake of me. Of you as a yeah I, I, yeah I told you I brought my whole self. She bought part of me. I did one time see a guy go on Shark Tank and sell himself as a concept. Really? Yeah, and he he now does, I get YouTube pop-ups where he's like yelling, he's like a, a a smaller guy who's like in his 50s and clearly has like a hair transplant mm -hmm. and he does ads where he's like man you smell like shit what you got to do is like to get women around you more you got to be wearing like cologne like i got yeah. this product right here it's really good yeah and he went on shark tank and was just like i'm a good spokesman yeah i've done that before i've worn What's, cologne you've worn cologne. yeah i've worn cologne it works it really if you're trying to get women dude you should wear cologne okay it really does work all right. I mean, I've had sex with like two, three, four women over over the course over the course of your over life? the course of yeah my life. Okay. And I mean, it, every time I was wearing some sort of cologne, okay, it, it does work. And and something that I'd like to point out is you look like um, Freddy Krueger. Oh, thank you. Yeah. <gasps> yeah. Um, are, are you just um, reading Rocky's comments um, in the chat right now? Um, Rocky made a very specific request. <laughs> so. I suppose I have to go with it. And has anyone 
Has has anyone checked on mom today? What is that? What is that? everybody, thank you so much for watching the Everything Now Show. This show happens four times a week. It happens Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Weekdays, the show is from 7 to 9. Saturdays, it's from 6 to 8. Make sure to follow and subscribe here on Twitch. And if you haven't joined the Discord already, join the Discord. All of the evidence utilized throughout the show was submitted via the Discord. You have to join the Discord to be fully involved in the show, in the program. So join the Discord. Yep. And all this other stuff. Go watch the YouTube. YouTube. And Over keep an 500 eye out. Over episodes of the show on the YouTube, folks. Go check it out. And keep an eye out for the VOD upload of this particular episode because I think it will be the first one where we are uploading VODs that have the chat included in the VOD. People Woo. have been asking for it. People have been saying, I wish I could read the chat messages that were happening during the VOD in the VOD. Well, great news, those people. We're going to put the chat in the VOD. Chats in the VOD. The chats in the VOD. Chats Folks, in the VOD. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. If this was your first episode of the Everything Now Show, welcome in. We do interactive comedy on all these different nights, and the next one will be on tomorrow night. So uh, it will not be talk fight. It will be something completely Jonks. different. It will be Jonks. Will it? No, it won't. No, Jonks is Adam. Oops All Rise. Next. Yeah. yeah. It'll be Oops All Rise. It'll be It'll Oops be All Jacob. Rise. It'll be a me one. Uh, uh, so come on back for that if you had fun tonight. <laughs> So, folks, we, we had four incredible guests tonight. Four people who are so, so funny and uh, drunk on two bottles of wine. So let's bring out... <laughs> Tom, Griffin, Danny, Kate. Four incredible guests. Yeah. Come on out, yeah. guests! Stand under, under the, the sun. sun! Thank you guys so much for watching tonight. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for watching we tonight. We really appreciate you. It thank meant you a lot so to much us for that you watching here. tonight. Griffin, go ahead, do your plug, man. Oh, we're plugging? Plug. Yeah, go ahead, man. Yeah, any plugs, Griffin? I have a new short film called The Dig, and it's coming out really soon. You can find it at, um, on Bad Boy Rock Lobster on Instagram. So check out the Instagram. Okay. If you're in Los Angeles and you'd like to come to an open mic, I host the open mic at the Elysian Theater. And also, I host a show with Danny called Haters Club, which is sort of a showcase of comedy of people um, doing their material. And we don't know when our next show is, but follow me on Instagram and you will find out. It's coming back in March. And if you guys live in Los Angeles or New York or Chicago or any city at all, you guys should get on Max. It's a streaming service. You guys should watch Six Feet Under. <laughs> <laughs> it's, really good. it's from the early 2000s. It looks unreal. It sounds unreal. And the writing is unparalleled in today's television climate. What stars can we expect to see on that program? Peter, Peter Krause, Krause. Michael, Michael C. C. Hall. Hall. Francis Conroy. The Francis Conroy? Okay. Kathy Bates is there in there go. eventually. Oh, yeah. Adam, uh, what's the guest star? Adam fucking... Levine? Was there a oh, Adam Scott. Adam is Scott! Is there oh, a nice. Nice the development on that show? Maybe. I bet there is, Grant, and it's so nice you know about that show. I don't know. So, Tom, any plugs? Uh, yeah, just so you can follow me on Instagram. I put a lot of videos on Instagram and TikTok on the internet. Just watch them. Check them out. Yeah. Always making content. Follow him on Instagram. Yeah, Gr Griffin and I. Griffin and I have a fake podcast called The Penis Boys. So watch oh, that. Yeah, you should yes, watch that do, too. Yeah. Do you well, often get people going like, "Where's the link to the full episode?" Yeah, yeah, all, all the, the time. time. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. Um, it would be. I mean, it would be an exhaustive endeavor, but to to do a full hour of that, we're, we're trying. We're, we're trying to get something up. Yeah. Just let's just we'll say we'll tease that. Yeah, let's just let's just, just say that's something up. Yeah, pay attention to the Instagram. We're we're trying. Yeah. We're really trying to get something up. It's hard. Uh, uh, <laughs> Look at HBO well, from first of all, ago. we forgot that uh, everybody should follow everything now. Hangout. That's where we do our hangout stream. Yeah, follow the hangout channel. We're going to be popping <laughs> up there more just to kind of do normal stuff. Um, like what? Uh, I don't know. It's just shooting the shit, just I guess. Just hanging I out. Gaming. Just talking or gaming. Yeah, or just like the stuff that normally happens on this website. Gaming. We do that on the Everything Now Hangout. Gaming. Too. What gaming. games are you Did guys you guys playing? play the new Final Fantasy VII demo? You know Rebirth, part two of the Final Fantasy VII remake, is coming out at the end of February. Is that another one? Are you plugging that? No, I, I just am <laughs> excited. Oh, okay. 
Shouts out to that. All right, we're going to raid our good Six friend. Six under. <laughs> we're going to raid our new friend, Tom Walker, who's part of the Goo Crew. Oh, yeah. We have not collaborated with Tom, but whenever when you get there, just say, Everything Knob Show wants to collab it's with a, you soon. Like a gang. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, street gangs uh, function. But they're good. All right, but say hi yes. to Tom for us. See you back here tomorrow mm-hmm. night. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. The Goo Crew. Strong muscles. <laughs>